Hello everyone, this is Miss Salma here. I hope you're all doing well. So are you guys ready for our second revision session? I'm sure you are. So I've prepared lots of interesting activities for you today, but before we start, let's recap our phase 5 sounds quickly, alright? So repeat after me. A, ow, I, e, oi, er, u, u, o, W, f, u, u, o, o, e, a, e, i, o, u, and u. Okay, amazing. So, in today's video, we're going to focus on the e family with its alternative spellings. So, it could be written as e and a. And this usually comes in the middle of the word, okay? Or E and Y, and this one usually comes at the end of the word. Or the spit digraph E with the magic E, all right? And the three of them make the same sound, which is E. Can you have a go? Very good job. Okay, so now let's try reading some words with the E digraph coded by the E and the A. Okay, so the first word, W. Week. Let's blend it together. Week. And we all know that weak is the opposite of being strong. As you can see, that man over here, he cannot lift the dumbbell up. Alright? Okay, next word. P each. Peach. What is a peach? Very good. It's this yummy fruit over here. Okay. Mm eat. Neat. See, that room here is really messy, and neat is the opposite of messy. Remember, at school we always tell you that we need to keep our classroom neat and clean. Alright? Okay, next word, b-e-d, bead. And that's a picture of some beads over here. And our last word, leap, leap. And leap means to jump over. Alright? Amazing. Now, let's move on to the E with the magic E, the split digraph E, all right? Okay, extreme, extreme, and extreme means to reach to a really high level or degree, okay? Good, next word, the E's, these. So, as you can see in that picture over here, this boy is pointing at some books, and they are near him. So he says, these are books. All right? Okay, next word. Evening. Evening. Evening is the opposite of day. Okay? Very good. Now this word is t -r -a -p -e -z. trapeze. Okay, and a trapeze is a horizontal bar hung by ropes, okay? And it's usually found in circus performances, all right? Amazing. And this one is athlete. Athlete. Athlete is a person who is proficient in sports, okay? Good. Okay, and now it's time to read some words with the E sound coded by the E and Y. And remember, it always comes at the end of the words, okay? Just like in this one here. Ch, I, n, n, e. Chimney. That's a chimney over here, okay? V, A, L, E. Valley. Valley is a low area or a low land between mountains or hills, okay? T -r -o -li, trolley. Okay, as you can see here, this is double trouble. Uh, okay, we only say one. Uh. So trolley, and there is a picture of a trolley. H -oni, honey. Yummy, yummy honey. And this one is P -r -sli, parsley. Okay, it's this plant over here, and we use it to garnish food with it, all right? Very good, amazing job. Okay, 
Now it's time for our first writing activity. So I want you to get a piece of paper and a pencil and write with me these words, okay? So here we have the EA, and here the EY, and here the spit digraph, E with the magic E. So we're going to look at the picture and then write the word together, all right? Perfect, let's start then. So the first picture, hmm. what does this boy look like he's doing? Hmm. Exactly, reading. So let's write read, just like that. Good, okay. Hmm. What are these called? Exactly, bead, the eed. Very good, okay. And let's take a look at that one here. Hmm. What's that? Seat. Excellent. Seat. Seat. Very good. Okay, see, these three friends, they are together, so they make a team. Okay, team. Very good. What about this one here? Hmm. Trees are full of leaves. So let's write one leaf. Leaf, leaf, excellent. Okay, what do we call this one here? Hmm. Seal, seal, excellent. Okay, so as you can see here, that's a speech bubble. So this means that the girl is speaking. Okay, so I want you to write for me the word speak, speak, just like that. Very good. And the last picture. Hmm. Meat. Exactly. Meat. Amazing. Okay, let's move on to the EY. What's that here? Hmm. We use it to lock a door. Key. Very good. K E. Only two sounds. Just like that. Excellent. All right. Hmm. And that one is a donkey. It's a long word, I know, but you can do it, okay? Sound it out slowly. D on k e, And it has key at the end of it. Okay, very good. What about this one here? Chimney. Okay, how do we write it? ch -imni. Excellent. Okay, and that one over here is a turkey. Turkey. Very good. Let's take a look at our next picture. Hmm. So we said a low area between mountains. We call it a valley. Exactly. Valley. And that's how we write it. Okay, good. That's a train over here and we use it. Hmm. To travel from one place to another, right? Or to go on a journey. Journey. Okay. Journey. Very good. Okay. And what's that thing over here? Hmm? You can find it in the supermarket. It's called a trolley. T -r -oli. Trolley. Okay. And the last picture. Hmm? What do we call this animal here? Exactly. Monkey. Very easy. Monkey. Okay, excellent. You guys know that you can pause if you need more time, okay? All right, now it's time for some words with the spit digraph E. Okay, what do we call this one here? Hmm? It's called a theme park. Theme. Theme. Okay, good. And that bottom here, if I do something wrong, I use it to delete it, okay? Delete. Just like that. All right, what about this heart here? Hmm. Is there any piece missing? No, so it is complete. Complete. Good. All right, hmm. that's the flag of China. So this means that this boy is Chinese. Chinese. All right, excellent. And that's a picture of, hmm. we use it with buildings, concrete. Concrete. Exactly. All right, let's take a look at that balance over here. Hmm. It looks even, right? Or equal. Even. Excellent. And here we have a vegetable. It's called a swede. 
sweet. And our last word is, we have day and evening, or morning and evening, evening, okay? Amazing, you guys. Well done. All right, here we have some matching. So we're going to read the word and then look for its picture together, all right? So, first word is read, read. Exactly, and there's the picture for it. See, the girl is reading a book. Okay, next word, t teeth, teeth. Hmm. Very easy. There it is. Excellent. Okay, money, money. Excellent. There it is. And here we have k e key. And there's its picture. And our last word is t r e tree and of course there it is okay amazing okay here that's another matching activity but it's a little bit different we're going to read the sentence together and then look for um it's it's word okay or the word that matches this um sentence for example let's read the first sentence together is a good pirate name so i need a word from these ones here that gives me a good pirate name and let's read the words first together Delete, concrete, complete, Pete, that's the name of a person, that's why we use a capital letter. Theme, Eve, that's a name of a person as well. Evening and sweet, okay? So which one of these is a good pirate name? So we have two names, Pete and Eve. Eve seems to be a girl's name, so of course Pete is a good pirate name, okay? All right, next sentence, I need to do this with my work. So what do we do with my work? If you have homework, you need to do what with it? You need to finish it, right? Or complete it, okay? So you need to complete. Good. All right, I need a name that is Jessica's sister. So, of course, we said we have Pete and Eve, and we've already used Pete, so Eve is Jessica's sister. Okay, what is a type of vegetable? Hmm. Which of these words is a vegetable? Exactly, Swede. Okay, remember it looks like a turnip. All right, I need a word that is the opposite to morning. So we have morning and evening. Amazing. Okay, next one. It is good to make a house on this. Hmm. Remember? We use it with buildings. It's called concrete. Concrete. Amazing. I do this if I get it wrong. So if I do something wrong, what do I do? I need to delete it. Exactly. Delete. Okay, last sentence. It is always good to have this at a party. Hmm. So if I have a party, it would be really good to have a theme for this party. Okay? Excellent, you guys. All right. Here we have some missing sounds, and we're going to look at the picture and then decide, are we going to use the EA or the EE or the EY, okay? So, for example, let's take a look at this first picture here. Hmm. This is an ear. Hmm. How do we write ear? The EA or the EE or the EY? Exactly, EA, okay? Ear, good. All right, this is number Three, f, er, hmm. which one of these are we going to use? Exactly, the double E, amazing. All right, this is honey, h, un, hmm. e, which one of these comes at the end? We said the E, Y comes at the end, good job. All right, and here this is called peas, peas, hmm. with the E, A, very good, okay. And that's here, a seat, seat. So do we use the E-A or the E-E? E-A, very good. And this fruit over here, peach, as well, E-A, amazing. Then here we have a tree. Hmm. Which one do we use, E-E or E-A? Of course, E-E. And here, that's called a street. So, st, r, e, t, double e, and the last one, money, and we said the e, y comes at the end. 
Okay, let's move on to our next activity then. So here we're going to read each sentence and we have three different spellings. All what we have to do is just choose the correct spelling, okay? So for example, I think these, these, these belong to you. Hmm. Which one is the correct spelling for the word these? Exactly, this one with the split digraph E. Well done, okay? All my work is... Which one complete with the spit digraph, complete with the double E, complete with the EA? Of course, with the spit digraph. Very good. I like riding on a donkey. Which one? With the double E, with the EY, or with the EA? Good job, with the EY. Put on your belt, please. So, seat, double E, seat, spit digraph. Seat, E-A, which one? Seat belt, exactly, with the E-A. Don't spend all your money, double E, money E-Y, money E-A, exactly, E-Y, very good. A sailor went to sea, 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 in his boat. Hmm. I want C, the one that means water, not C, to see with your eyes, okay? So a, sail a sailor went to C with the E-A, okay? This one with the double E, it means like to see with your eyes. And the last sentence, can I have a cup of tea, please? Hmm? How do we write tea with double E or E-A or E-Y? Very good, with the E-A. Amazing, you guys. Okie dokie. Here we have a phonics story. And uh, first, we're going to read it together, and then we're going to uh, spot 10 different uh, words with the E in them, with the E digraph in them, okay? Either the EE -E or the EA, all right? And after we finish, we're going to answer these questions on the passage, all right? So, let's read. Once upon a time, there was a sheep called Pete. Oh, I forgot to tell you that the title of the story is Pete the Sheep, okay? So once upon a time, there was a sheep called Pete. He didn't have clean feet. Walking around a muddy field made his feet dirty. One day, he went to the sea to clean his feet. He didn't like the sea. It made him scream because it was freezing. So Pete didn't get his feet cleaned in the sea. Some of the other sheep were mean to Pete. Mean means they weren't nice, okay? But a nice sheep called Jean helped him. She helped Pete to get his feet really clean in the sea. Pete liked his clean feet and he liked Jean too. The end. Okay? Did you guys spot 10 different words with the E digraph in them? Okay, so let's check them. We have sheep with the double E. Pete with the split digraph E in them. Clean with the EA. Feet with the double E. C, the E-A, scream, the E-A, freezing, peat, mean, jean, and that's it. <laughs> okay, now let's answer these questions. So the first one is, Pete is a, do you guys remember? Hmm? Was Pete a dog? No, he was a sheep. So Pete is a sheep. Very good. Pete didn't have, hmm, remember? He didn't have what? That's why he went to the sea. He didn't have clean feet. Well done. Then, Pete went to the what to clean his feet? Hmm. Did he go to the pool? <laughs> of course not. He went to the sea. Some sheep were what to Pete? They weren't nice. So we say they were mean. Okay. And who helped Pete to clean his feet? A nice sheep called Jean. Very good. And the last one, the sea was what? That's why Pete didn't like it, because it was... Huh, very cold means freezing. Okay? Very good, you guys. Amazing. Okie dokie. Now it's our reading time. So you guys can either pause the video and read these sentences quickly on your own, or you can just play it and read with me as I go. Okay? So let's start. I have seen my teacher on the beach. Here we have seen, teacher, and beach. Good. We will defeat 
the team from the east okay defeat the team it means we will win all right so we have defeat and team and east good i eat beef and leek for my tea beef leek and tea a streaming cold makes you sneeze so we have streaming and sneeze good he put toffee in my coffee so toffee and coffee amazing i will grease the squeaky wheel here we have three words grease squeaky and wheel i see a green beast in that tree green oh see first green beast and tree the tree will creak in the breeze so we have tree creak and breeze if you tease me i will not speak to you so we have tease speak next one the greedy sheep ate my sweets so we have greedy sheep and sweets i like peaches and cream peaches and cream last one weeds creep up in the wet season so we have weeds creep and season okay all right so this is uh, our fun uh, word search game uh, as you all know i'm gonna leave it for you so you guys can pause the video and try searching for all these words up here inside this big box so let's read the words quickly we have three and speed and deep keep green speak beat meal team and meat okay and remember the words could be uh, in a vertical way or horizontal or even diagonal okay i hope you have fun all right so now it's time for writing some captions all right remember from the last time so uh, each and every video we're going to have two pictures and we're going to arrange the words to come up with a full sentence all right so first of all let's read the words we have flower petals these are the petals of the flower okay and we have the and pink and has so let's take a look at this picture here hmm. so first of all we're going to talk about this so we say the this is what hmm. a flower so the flower has has what petals right but what's the color of the petals pink so i say the flower has pink petals okay and don't forget capital letter finger spaces and full stop all right amazing okay the next picture we have boy the is a shirt wearing in blue so if i want to describe this boy so first of all i'm going to start the boy okay so i want to describe his clothes so the boy is wearing okay he's wearing what i want to talk about this the shirt but first of all we need to look at the color so the boy is wearing a blue shirt okay this is how you come up with a full sentence remember capital letter finger spaces and the full stop after we finish all right very good you guys so before we go we're just going to recap our tricky words really quick so repeat after me i know the to go into he she we me be you are her was all they my said have like so do some come little one were there what when out oh mrs people there called mr 
looked, asked, and could. Okay, so we're done here, but I have one uh, last thing for you. It's a, a challenge, okay? I'm going to tell you a sentence right now. And this sentence has some words with the E digraph in them. Either the EA or the uh, split digraph E or the EY, okay? So I'm going to tell you the sentence and I want you to write it on your own, okay? So our sentence is Steve likes meat and honey. Again, Steve, that's the name of a person. So remember... Always start with a capital letter. Steve likes, a tricky word, okay. Steve likes meat and honey. All right? That's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed our video today and I'll definitely see you later. So stay safe and bye.